Church here and welcome to the Game Grinder and today we are doing an unboxing video and this is one of the most hyped games of the year and for the last few years people have been super hyped about this. I am also one of those people. And with that said, we are talking about the Elden Ring Collector's Edition. So at this point, I would assume everybody knows what Elden Ring is, but just in case you don't, it is the latest game from From Software, most notably known for the Dark Souls series, Bloodborne, as well as Sekiro, and a handful of other titles that a lot of people don't even know about. But this is a developer and a series or genre, or whatever you want to call it, that I have come to love. Dark Souls 3 was actually my first From Software game, and since then I've played most of uh, the, the notable titles. I actually did a review for Dark Souls 3, so if that's something you're interested in checking out, I would definitely recommend doing so. It's a video I was pretty proud of, but essentially Elden Ring is kind of like an open world version of that. I think it also includes writing to some extent by George R.R. Martin, who is mostly known for Game of Thrones. So it's really interesting to kind of see how that's going to blend, if there's any... It probably won't even be discernible, and I don't know to what extent he was involved with writing, if it's just concept, or if there's actually just character arcs or anything like that. But kind of one of the things the series is known for, and I don't agree with this for a variety of reasons, but these games are kind of known for their difficulty or the challenge, but it's largely just learning how to play the game and learning enemy patterns. And the thing that always blows my mind is uh, these games all have like a multiplayer co-op element where you can summon help with bosses or through areas. And a lot of people just don't do that. I mean, me personally, I have a lot more fun playing with other people. So I summon people as much as absolutely possible. And it helps a lot of times. There's a lot of well-known uh, challenging bosses from the series that you know, I was able to take down a couple tries at most. But enough about that. Let's go ahead and check out the Elden Ring Collector's Edition and see what we get. So, of course, as always, a Collector's Edition comes in a box. So, <laughs> this is the box for that. Uh, not a whole lot there. Just kind of the main logo, Elden Ring Collector's Edition. What it comes with on the side. Uh, another logo on there. And then just kind of like the normal game advertisement on the back. And then also with this, because I pre-ordered this through Best Buy, uh, they... Much as they've been doing uh, lately with a lot of their uh, major releases is including an additional steelbook that's a Best Buy exclusive. I think you can buy these um, without pre-ordering the game. Usually they'll have like an end cap uh, by the game section that will have the steelbooks. But uh, yeah, still pretty cool that they include an extra steelbook. So then I'll go ahead and open this up and we'll check out more. And then with the slip cover off, of course, um, in our box there, just the logo plain box otherwise just Elden Ring on the top so I'll open this up so as always one of my favorite things ever are boxes inside of boxes nicely neat and organized so first thing here is a mystery box inside of the box um, some sort of logo there um, little stuff on the sides not much with this and I believe this includes our art book the art of Elden Ring and some other goodies now that I got the art book out. So since it's on top, we'll check this out first. This is the art of Elden Ring. Uh, nicely sized, not necessarily a full size, but not the little like quarter, third size mini art books usually included with collector's editions. So that's cool. And much as usual, I'm sure this contains concept art, character art, scenery, buildings, things like that, a little information, which are always cool to check out and kind of see the design process and the original like artists interpretations of some of these ideas and then how they make it into the games so i'll definitely have to check this out more later then of course any good collector's edition includes the game within the collector's edition i know no publishers or developers are going to watch this video but god damn it stop excluding the game from within the collector's edition I know that's the whole thing it's two separate things otherwise but anyways elden ring i got the playstation 5 copy and again, I'm super excited to check this game out. I pretty much went media blackout largely after seeing like the initial trailers a while back. So really, really excited to see what this world holds. So then next up we have the, the collector's edition uh, steel book that this comes with. So largely they're just sticking with that logo main art piece there on the steel book. Elden Ring on the side, Elden Ring on the back. 
Uh, opening this up, we got some additional art there and a code for the digital soundtrack, which uh, I'm glad they included. I would have vastly preferred a physical soundtrack, but cool, we're getting the soundtrack nonetheless. Well, while we're at it, we might as well check out the Best Buy pre-order bonus steelbook as well. Um, unsure exactly who these characters are on the case here, but uh, pretty cool. Actually, cooler looking steelbook than from what comes with the collector's edition, which is an interesting choice. But um, yeah, so that, and then inside, um, not a whole lot going on the inside either, just that, that main logo there. Okay, so then on to the main focus of any great collector's edition is the statue that this comes with. And uh, again, box within a box. This one has a little bit more design, kind of similar to the, the box that held the art book and game and whatnot. Similar design and motif there. Nothing too fancy, but still cool, you know, doing a little extra. And actually on the back, it has uh, some sort of phrasing or poem that reads Elden Ring. I doubt you could even imagine it. That which commands the stars, giving life its fullest brilliance. The Elden Ring, oh Elden Ring. Shattered by someone or something, don't tell me you don't see it. Look up at the sky, it burns. So I'm sure that's probably like the main intro to the game thing. I mean, I'm sure I'm completely wrong on that, but hey, great guess. But uh, we'll go ahead and open this up, check out the statue. And actually, uh, before I pull this out, this is actually kind of cool how the box opens up. Um, it has kind of like this, this like slip cover open, but uh, I kind of like how it, it's uh, presented here. Usually it's just, you know, in styrofoam or something, but kind of having the extra design on the box, I think is kind of neat. Um, possibly used to be used as a potential backdrop for a display, but of course I'll take the statue out and we can check it out. And actually, as I've removed the statue now, I think this is kind of intended to be used for just the actual the display itself, because it kind of has this like this base. It's it's hollow and it's cardboard, but that's actually pretty interesting. Um, I don't know. I might have to think about how I could actually use this. I have display cabinets that I put a lot of my statues in, but um, I don't know. It seems like a wasted opportunity, but uh, we'll kind of see how that works out. All right, so minimal assembly required, and this is, uh, forgive me, I have to look at this because I don't know the character's name off the top of my head, a statue of Millennia, Melania, Melenia, I'm not sure, uh, but it's a pretty cool looking statue. This is, I think this is like the notable character from the backstory of the game, kind of like the hero that fell and something i don't like i said i don't know the details all you gotta say is hey new from software game and i'm pretty much sold i like going media blackout but uh yeah uh, pretty cool i mean uh, every um dark souls game had a, a pretty pretty cool statue so i'm not surprised the quality of this is pretty good lots of nice fine details there it's always great when they do something a little interesting with the base little extra designs instead of just a plain flat lot of nothing gives you the impression that she's on the battlefield the sword is kind of odd because it doesn't actually have like a hilt um it's like she like even it's not missing it but that's actually how the design is which is kind of strange but you know then again a lot of stuff in these games are very strange uh par apparently she must have a uh mechanical arm or something along those lines and there's actually a another tier up of this collector's edition that included her helmet as a wearable full-sized helmet uh, i didn't go that route because it was a little much the helmets take up a little space i have a few of them at this point but um i mean that's still pretty cool and then on the back of the statue uh, on her cape there is the logo of uh the tree that's at the, like the center of the world something uh her hair a lot of detail yeah really cool statue um kind of going go, doing pulling the sephiroth there with the the super long sword which you know makes it uh, always interesting to try to display this around other statues and whatnot but yeah i think that overall it's a pretty cool statue uh dig what they got going on interested to learn more about this character maybe it makes me more um excited and appreciated of the statue other than just this cool looking uh, random character but yeah so that is the Elden Ring collector's edition I would be interested to know if anybody else 
picked up this collector's edition or the, the, the tier up above it. I haven't really seen anybody posting pictures of that. Uh, of course, the console version just came out today. So everybody's picking up their collector's edition today. So I'm interested to see some pictures. And then, of course, let me know, are you going to be checking out Elden Ring? I know a lot of people are really excited. There's a lot of people that have absolutely no interest, which is unfortunate because no matter how you shake it, these games are absolutely amazing. And it sounds like it is delivering. You know, reviews are kind of take with a grain of salt, but it's getting praise across the board, which absolutely I had totally expected that. Didn't think anything less. And I absolutely, again, cannot wait to dive into this game. So yeah, so definitely let me know your thoughts. And then as always, thank you very much for watching. And I will talk to you next time on The Game Grinder.